So today in biology we are going to talk about excretion. So what's excretion? Excretion is defined as the removal of metabolic waste from the body. It's defined as the removal of metabolic waste from the body. And this metabolic waste they include carbon dioxide, urea, uric acid, ammonia, excess water, and excess salts. And the system that is responsible for excretion in the body is referred to as the excretory system. Then the main excretory uh, products are mainly removed through, through urine. So these are the points that you need to take into consideration on the introduction of uh, excretion. So let me just write those points on the whiteboard. So I've said excretion is the removal of metabolic waste. So the removal of metabolic waste from the body and these metabolic wastes I've said examples we have carbon dioxide we have urea we have uric acid we have ammonia and we have excess water and salts and the system that is responsible for excretion in the body is the excretory system so the excretory system In the body. Then the main excretion that is removed from the body is urine. So urine is the main excretion. Now let us look at the organs of the excretory system. So the organs of the excretory system. So the organs, the first organs we have the kidney and the urinary tracts. So we have the kidneys and urinary tract and the urinary tract they include the ureters, the urethra and the bladder so the, the urinary tract we have the ureters the urethra and the bladder Then the other organ that facilitates excretion, we have the lungs and the other organ we have the skin. Let us look at the process of excretion. So the process of excretion is the next thing that we are going to look at. So the chemical reactions that occur in the body, they produce waste products. And if these waste products are left to accumulate in the body, this means they are going to change the internal environment of the cells. And if the internal environment of the cells are changed, the cells are going to die. And when cells die, this means the whole organism 
is going to die. So the many uh, process that occurs during excretion is to remove the waste products. And these waste products are removed from uh, the blood that continues to supply the body. That's uh, the process of uh, excretion. Then let us look at the importance of excretion. So the main importance of excretion is to remove the metabolic waste from the body. That's the main importance of excretion. If these metabolic waste are left to accumulate in the body, this means they are going to change the pH, uh, they're going to change uh, the pH of the cells. And if the pH of the cells is changed, this means the cells they are going to be denatured. And when the cells are denatured, the cells are going to die and the whole organism is going to die. So the main importance of excretion is to remove, uh, to remove the waste products. And we are going to look at some of the waste products. So we have the first waste product which are the nitrogenous waste. So nitrogenous waste and so nitrogenous waste and drugs and nitrogenous waste drugs drugs and poisons are removed by the kidney. Then B I have Carbon dioxide So carbon dioxide is removed from the lungs when we breathe out and you must take into consideration that when carbon dioxide is left to accumulate in the body carbon dioxide is going to dissolve in water that is found in blood and when carbon dioxide uh, dissolves in water it's going to form carbonic acid and the carbonic acid is going to change the pH of the cells and when the pH of the cells are changed the cells are going to die and when the cells die this means the whole organism is going to die so carbon dioxide must be removed then see I have the removal of the removal of urea so urea is formed from excess of amino acids during, uh, during the process of uh, dimension. So this is the way uh, dimination, dimination, sorry. So this is the process that involves the production of urea from excess of amino acids. And urea is and if urea is left to accumulate in the body, it's going to dissolve uh, in water. And when it dissolves in water, it's going to form uric acid. And this uric acid is going to change the pH of the cells. And when the cells, and if the pH of the cells is changed, this means the cells are going to die, and the whole organism is going to die. So the uh, so urea has to be removed. And urea is removed by the kidneys through urine. So the kidneys are responsible for removing urea through what? Through urine. Then let, let us now look at, I'm going to write here D. Sorry about that, my white boy is full. I'm going to write the removal of excess removal of excess of water so the regulating of water uh, the regulating of water levels in the blood is referred to as 
Osmo regulation. Osmo regulation is defined as the regulating of water levels in plant. And the regulating of water levels is done by the kidneys. Uh, it's done by the kidneys where water is passed through urine. It's also done by the skin where water comes out through sweat. So this is our introduction part where we have talk, talked about the definition, the process of excretion and the importance of the excretion. The next thing that we are going to talk about is the kidneys.